I came into the military around the year of 1978. Uh, shortly after coming out of boot camp, I received a blood clot in my left leg, which was one of my major issues going through the military and having to deal with that right out of boot camp. Uh, at some point I was on light duty and doing various jobs, going back to light duty. And that happened over a period of six months at a time. Uh, of course, I uh, finished uh, my uh, four year term uh, in the U.S. Navy as a veteran uh, and becoming a disabled vet at that time because of the illness that I had incurred, uh, which may have caused PTSD during that time, which I haven't really pursued. However, I had to go on with my life with this illness that I had and had to take certain medications for. So uh, over the years, I was involved in various jobs and continued to grow here in San Diego, decided to stay here in San Diego. And, um, and uh, I would be back and forth uh, at, the, at the veterans and dealing with how to get my benefits and be connected to being medically seen that was always a, a struggle because I got the runaround or I didn't get proper information. Uh, but over the years, I still pursued uh, being the best person I could be and being able to help others. And so while working at the San Diego Unified School District as a custodian building service supervisor, I decided to go back to school, change my career, and get involved with a uh, uh, substance abuse counselor. Uh, uh, I went to school, uh, also I am a good friend of Michael McPherson and that's where we met at because I was going to school studying behavioral science to become a substance abuse counselor. Uh, and later in my years I also dealt with being a substance abuse person because of some of those struggles that I incurred. Uh, and to just shorten up the story a little bit, uh, as I made that transition and I completed my, well, while I was going to school, I still, uh, I acquired a job that uh, put me in a, in a position as a program director of a residential recovery home. And this is where I encountered many, many veterans and those veterans being a friend of Michael McPherson and as he got into his position uh, helping uh, people with uh, core current, current, current co-occurring disorders or mental illnesses, uh, I began to be a liaison or a person who had many resources in the community and I would send veterans to Michael's group, but only after I went to the group myself and participated to see what was going on, I knew this would be a good group for some of the vets that I had. Now I wanna just switch gears here because as a musician, I ran into many people uh, in San Diego. One of those persons was Randy Brown. And Randy Brown was a veteran as well, and he had many different struggles himself. And I directed him to the uh, peer advocacy group out at the uh, Veterans Hospital. And uh, with some reluctance, he was, you know, because he'd heard this before, he had dealt with different, many uh, other struggles trying to get his benefits and get. Uh, uh, someone to just li listen to what he had gone through and his uh, struggles with dealing with the VA. But eventually he got out there and then he'll tell you his story next. But uh, And that's pretty much in, in, in a shell the struggles that I've dealt with as a disabled veteran. And now I deal with, after being a program director, after moving on to another facility where I was a case manager for many years, uh, and, and leaving those facilities, then I've had a bout with depression myself. And so now I'm dealing with another arena or another co-occurring dis, disorder, uh, maybe severe depression. So uh, as a veteran, we are always open and willing to help other vets, uh, no matter uh, what part of the globe they come from, what their race and gender is, just as long as we can help them get into a solution. And that's our main purpose here is to, to let people know out there that we're, we're here and we have a good group that helps you get uh, benefits and help you get in the direction of getting a solution to your problem.